Hello, this is a Xiaomi antibacterial air um, humidifier, which uh, we will clean today. So I'm here in the bathroom because uh, it's easier to have the space. There is a, a towel, a clean, uh, dry and clean towel. It doesn't really matter because anyway, we have to clean the all the parts. So just to be... Um, the towel is just uh, clean and um, dry and I'm gonna use a few helpers which I hope will help me with will help uh, me with cleaning the Xiaomi antibacterial air humidifier without uh, so much effort uh, as you know, in the user manual, it says to clean it once per week, but because we were sick, we we haven't cleaned it in a while, a very long while since December, we all had the bad COVID. So it stopped since uh, before December. So it's two months already without cleaning, without functioning. The, the humidifier itself is dry. It's supposed to be dry, unplugged before cleaning it. We don't have to use uh, a very um, str uh, high temperature. The cleaning uh, for the cleaning, the water temperature should be lower than 40 degrees, according to the manual. And they say to use for the lime scale, this deposit here, I don't know, lime scale, which is also here. You see, it's a lot of um, uh, lime scale and dirt, but ma mainly lime scale. They advise to use, uh, as I said, warm water with some citric acid. The citric acid is supposed to help remove it very easily, but from experience, it's really hard to clean these uh, spots. And because today I don't have that much time for it, I'm going to leave it here and leave it clean itself for a while because I have a lot of laundry uh, house cleaning and uh, cooking to do before the kids arrive so I really need this Xiaomi uh, humidifier today to clean itself and I'm just documenting the, uh, the process for you in case it's gonna work you will see the end result so I'm just gonna use a few helpers like my uh, this this is the kind of tools ingredients that I use also for cleaning uh, other house uh, electronics like uh, washing machine and so on uh, for me uh, the, the vinegar is always helping with lime scale but also together with uh, with this bica uh, bicarbonate soda soda something like that and I'm going to use these two as main ingredients in some kind of uh, in this somehow I'm gonna uh, let it sit the vinegar with sodium bicarbonate and then I'm gonna use some pipe, pipe cleaners or a toothbrush whatever I need even some napkins for cleaning it like these are gonna be used in the later phase for now just I, the plan is to just uh, leave the air humidifier seat with some vinegar and uh, soda bicarbonate let it sit with some water and this and hope for the uh, lime, scale, lime scale to be easily removed afterwards so it's gonna sit here for a while maybe maybe even one hour or two i don't
So that's it for now. I will leave it here for an hour or even more and return later with uh, with the rest of my instruments trying to somehow clean the line scale and uh, make it usable again. The line scale is already very easily removable, so I think this is going to work. <laughs> I hope. I really need this to work fast today. Uh, not fast, but uh, without that much effort from me, like remote, until I'm doing the rest of the work. As you see, even uh, without cleaning aid. So I just used vinegar and bicarbonate soda. And the light scale indeed is easily removable now. We will see. We will see. Uh, be back in a while. So that's how it is after uh, an hour or so. The lime scale can now be removed. And as I see, it's easy to remove it already. I will be using some toothbrush and pipe cleaners I will also be using my gloves and we will see it's important to clean the, the containers everything to be without lime scale and then uh, after we finish I'm gonna dry it and uh, let it sit on some uh, damp dry towel This is the toughest spot to clean because it has lots of line scale and um, the place is small so by using some cotton swabs like uh, for ear cleaning uh, I easily remove the scale so just like so I think this is the toughest place you can use uh, maybe bigger cotton swabs if you have this is what I had and the plan is that after I remove the scale I'm gonna rinse it with some lukewarm water so that the, any remains are um, removed the baking soda and the, the vinegar helped a lot it, it's really easy to remove it indeed but uh, we will see other the other components how they are going to be clean in here it was fairly easy i could do it with the toothbrush but uh, here it's a little tricky because you really have to to go in all places and simply scratch it like removing it we we use a filtered water so uh, we measure the toughness of our water and so we use the the, the water from the filter when uh, in the humidifier but even even with filtered water the the lime scale is still there as you can see it's so i had to take a break and we continue cleaning I also have to uh, tell you that I forgot to tell you that you need to clean also this part of the humidifier where the air is um, the, humi uh, the humid air goes out so in here inside and that's very difficult spot so 
use whatever tool you have available. I just poured some uh, vinegar inside and now I'm just cleaning it like that. It goes uh, all the way here, so you need some long uh, cleaning device. Like I'm gonna use this napkin together with the pipe cleaner, like so. And so you see, it's cleaning. Uh, most of the lime scale inside, I suppose it went um, it cleaned while while pouring pouring it outside but it, there is no way to actually go there and see it. so we just blindly try to clean it because you cannot see what's going on in there you just have to hope that somehow you are removing all the unwanted deposits like lime scale or dirt i suppose if the napkin uh, comes out clean it's all set so i just poured uh, vinegar and some uh, bicarbonate soda and now i'm gonna rinse them and put them to dry together so with this this still needs some thorough cleaning which is the lid it covers the humidifier. It was, this, this was not difficult. You know, here is just vinegar and everything is going to be rinsed in the end. Don't worry that you get dirty. You can use uh, gloves or not. I prefer to use it in this case because um, having a rash on the hands from another cleaning product and I think the vinegar right now is not doing me very well. But you... From time to time, I had to take the gloves off for better cleaning. So we go to the next part, and I'm using this to quickly remove, like so. And we will see. This is also a tricky part, but here was a very, I don't know if you remember in the beginning, it was a very a stubborn deposit and now it simply went away with just a few uh, strokes from the this this is an old toothbrush yeah so that's the one that we don't use anymore this is uh, all that we use it even for cleaning uh, household items or i don't know yeah i know you know it's an old toothbrush i just i don't know i have to say it in case someone so yeah Okay, and then I think we have here, uh, okay, okay, this, it says to clean all the components where the water is circulating, I think they are called containers, water containers, water tanks, so, so we just make sure that we clean everything and we hope for the best, I hope it's gonna work, after we finish, and here is this, it has uh, it had lime scale inside this uh, rubber so you see how how it goes everywhere this lime scale it, it goes everywhere you have to just clean it and then clean it again and so for now I think I'm I'm okay here, I'm just gonna I removed and look what's here. So yeah, we still have some work to do here. You 
see here. I have to take uh, the kids to the park so uh, for now everything is clean and rinsed with uh, lukewarm water uh, it looks like so the the lime scale is almost completely gone um, I, I don't say it's 100% uh, lime scale free but it's clean it's much much better we removed, I think, 95% of the scale, lime scale, and it's gonna sit here and dry until the night. And after we come back from the park, I'm gonna uh, test it. We just leave it to dry for maybe two hours on its own, because you know it, it has the cable here. We we were careful with it, uh, so we cleaned it. Also this part. And everything is gonna just sit here and dry on the dry cloth. So it was it was fine, it was okay. We have two more of these devices to clean these days. This was the first, and I'm glad that it went kind of smoothly. 
and carefree. I managed to do a lot of work and uh, the vinegar, it, it helped a lot, even with the cleaning. And uh, as I said, this uh, space was important to be, to be clean also. Uh, using some long stick and a piece of cloth or even better some um, napkin uh, wet napkin so that's it uh, the air humidifier is now clean it's dr it's gonna be dry in a few hours and uh, we can use it this kind of cleaning is supposed to happen every one or two weeks Bum, bum, bum.